All right, welcome. This is uh, uh, Wayne Hild's uh, Calc channel. So this is, uh, we did section 1.3 today, so I thought I'd do an example problem, a couple examples of the ones that you should be doing for homework. So this is number 55 in the book, section 1.3. And the problem is uh, find the limit as x approaches 4. So the limit as x approaches 4 of square root of x plus 5 minus 3 over x minus 4. Okay? So we're going to rationalize. Again, we have a radical. So, uh, you know, the first thing we want to think about is, hey, maybe we should rationalize the numerator or rationalize the denominator to get rid of that radical. We should check, even before we do that, just what happens if x uh, uh, equals 4. So if I let x equal 4 here, you can see the denominator is going to be 0, so that's going to be a problem. So we've got to do something before we let x equal 4. So let's start by multiplying by the conjugate of the numerator. So it's going to be radical x plus 5 plus 3 over radical x plus 5 plus 3. So multiplying by 1. And now I'm going to go kind of quickly here. So when I do this multiplication, I end up with the radicals cancel. So I just get x plus 5. The middle terms, because they're conjugates, are going to cancel. So I'm just going to get uh, nothing in the middle. And then my last term is going to be negative 9. Okay? So the numerator is uh, x plus 5 minus 9. The denominator is going to be x minus 4. And then I'm going to leave this in, uh, you know, in radical form here. Let's see if that's going to help us, okay? So it's going to be like that. Hopefully you can see that. That looks okay, all right? So we're going to simplify the numerator. So that becomes x plus 5 minus 9 is x minus 4. The denominator is x minus 4 times this radical x plus 5 plus 3. So the x minus 4s are going to cancel. And we're going to end up with just 1 over radical x plus 5 plus 3. And now we can let the limit, we can let x go to positive 4. When we do that, you can just plug it in here and you can see it's going to be 4 plus 5 is 9. The square root of that is going to be 3. So it's going to be 1 over 3 plus 3, which is going to be 1 6. So our answer there is going to be just 1 6. 